Howdy, it's time for another recipe on O Taste and See, and today we're going to get into baking for the first time with a very easy quiche recipe. Do you know what a quiche is? It is. Quiche lovers, please forgive me for saying this, but quiche is like a glorified omelette. However, no omelette looks like this because it is thick since it is loaded with ingredients and the appetizing crust makes you want to dig in. And of course, once you do that, the taste ensures you don't stop with a single helping, or a second, or often a third. Take a look at these images and tell me your mouth doesn't water. <clears throat> now, I know baking intimidates a lot of people. It intimidated me, what with instructions like preheat oven to 300 degrees for 10 minutes, then bake for 15 minutes at 175 degrees. It feels like a chemistry course, and I stayed away from baking for the longest time, but there is really nothing to it. If you have a reasonably good oven, I use a little countertop. It's just a matter of pushing a few buttons. And you will see when we bake this quiche. There are literally a hundred ways in which you can make a quiche. The one we're showing you today was taught to me by my dear uh, friend Fiona Braganza. That's her there. And uses chicken mince, mushrooms, spinach. My mom won't believe this onions, spring onions, chilies, ginger, garlic, oregano, and turmeric. And of course, the obligatory uh, cheese and eggs. But seriously, you can throw in anything you want. And the more, the merrier. We'll show you a more traditional recipe in a future episode, uh, including how to make it with a crust. But for now, let's just learn to make it the easy way. Let's go.
Doesn't that look mouth-watering? This was literally the first time I baked one of these things and not only does it look amazing, it tastes amazing as well. Four of us polished it in one sitting. A little rich, all that cheese and butter, but I figure it's okay as long as you keep yourself fit, you know? It is important that we do this because our bodies are temples of God's Holy Spirit. We often think of God residing in some place up there, don't know, Alpha Centauri perhaps, but He dwells within us. And the way we maintain our body shows us that we honor Him. As Paul said, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And more importantly, elsewhere he says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Something for you to think about when you go and make and bake that quiche. God bless you.